Okay, we live. First and foremost, we're going to say all praises be to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great most mm -hmm. and, and Shalom to the sincere elect, teaching the truth and faith and sincerity for the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. And you know, basically, man, all we really want to really speak on is that an actual time of, of mass death and destruction is coming upon this earth, man. You know, like you know, you have you have the you, you, you have these you know, earthquakes you know taking place throughout this earth. You 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 even have the um you know. See the Bitcoin and you speak up for saying. Okay, come. Yeah. Cause it's not hard volume and it's a little bit quiet. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so like you know, there's there's things you know that's, you know, happening, throughout this earth, man. Yep. Right. So without further ado, can you get um Ecclesiastes chapter three, bro? Sure. No, no, no. This is Ecclesiastes three from the top says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Yeah man, so 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 the scripture says to everything upon this earth, there's there's a time, man. Time to be born and actual time to um to um to uh, to actually die. Now, if you go back to the story of 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 of, of uh, the flood, trust me, that time period was a time period appointed for a lot of people to die, man. Yep. Yeah. And that and that's the same thing that's about to happen now. But 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 this flood that's gonna happen, it isn't gonna be um one of water but a fire, man. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a time to kill and the time to heal, a time to break down and the time to build up. That's right, and, and and it's like, you know, this kingdom of Esau as we speak is getting broken down now. For us teaching this 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 this, 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 this word, man. Right, the scripture says, you know, we uh, we are uh, casting down and pulling down them strongholds. Mm. Right, so that's that's what's happening now. But at the same time, the um. Tabernacle of David is being built before their face, man. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. It says the time to weep and the time to laugh, the time to mourn and the time to dance. Exactly. And, and you know, now people are puffed up and proud, man. Right? People in this kingdom have, have no fear of judgment that, you know, eventually they shall be judged for all their wicked acts and deeds. Right? But that's why the scripture says a time of 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 of, of, of mourning is coming. Mm. Right? Go ahead. Yep. Um so it's a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. And and, and when there's that time period of martial law comes World War Three, people ain't gonna uh, uh, be Embracing anything, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah, yeah. Scripture says in front of me. I okay, we'll grab it real quick. Uh, it says, uh, it says Sirach twelve and eight. It says a friend cannot be known in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Right, uh, uh, and that's basically goes into what the Bible is going into. Things are good right now, so you know people might be embracing each other. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Lauren, or whatever, what have you. But in that time, people's true colours are gonna come out, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Man. Let me keep going. Yeah. It says in pro in the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved, but in his adversity, even a friend will depart. 
That's right. Yep. Never trust an enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Yeah, and I believe there's a scripture that says um, in adversity there's a forgetfulness of, of oh, yeah. prosperity, and that basically in in prosperity there's a forgetfulness of affliction, right? And 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 all these people out here on this on, on this earth, as, aside from those who who have been left, right, are are, are really gonna experience like mass adversity man for for their their their, their sins yeah because the scripture says especially you when you, you are actually persecuted for for, for for righteousness sake right so we of course go through our our adversity but all these people on this earth right are, are will go through their adversity because of their of, of their sins right like 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 um the the uh, apostle Tao always says there's going to be a time when the Heavenly Father is going to bring so much destruction that you you, you actually c- are going to know that, yeah, man, this is definitely the power of, of, of God. Yeah. Like, like you, you know how you have with, um, you know how you have with, like, uh, I believe hurricanes. Mm. It, it basically gets to stages called the, the, the act of God. Yeah, yeah, It's basically, yeah. it's not like no more warnings. They just say, this is the act of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even so his faithless ass. Cause, yeah. Cause the act of God. Yeah, because hey, right now, he, but the thing is, right now, and that's why you got to give Esau the, um, you know, round of applause for being the devil that he is. Because what did he create? He created a, a, a global warming, right? And he taxes you for that <laughs> as well, right? So he creates global warming, and in doing so, right, you know, these people, I mean, it was like 20 degrees in the middle of February, man. You know, all of this freak weather that be going on around in the whole world and people just say, oh, it's global warming. Mm-hmm. Oh, but there's going to come a time when the weather going to be so freak, when this and that's going to be so freak, right, that people ain't going to have no choice but to be like, yo, look, you know, that that is the most high, man. And, 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 and really, it's like, bro, it's really, it's like, bro, like, it's like, if you, if you, if, if you go according to the, calendar of, of, of the scriptures the new year just started mm. you know and, and it's spring so mm-hmm. to speak this is when things come come, come to life come up to life yeah. you know but it's a Sirach 11 and 25 and the day of prosperity there is forgetfulness of affliction and the scripture also says also but the foundations of the earth are of course man yeah. it says and in the day of affliction there is no more remembrance of prosperity just on our eyes as, as you were called for it before Right, and that's right, you know, and 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 that's the facts, man. When uh, these these people are starving, you know, when when they're being persecuted, when 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 I have a preset. This is um, Ezekiel chapter 7 and 20. It says, It says, um, No, Ezekiel 7 and 25. Destruction cometh. And the, and and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and ru- rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a, a vision of a, of of the prophet, but the Lord shall perish from the priest and the counsel from the, the, the ancients. Right. So the scripture says, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Man. Mm. So, so, so what's that saying? Right. Like like. Meaning, a time of destruction ha- has to come upon the end, uh, upon this earth, whereby people aren't, aren't going to have any hope of that. You know, like for example, you know now, like an earthquake mm. might happen, and people be like, yeah, eventually we will kind of, you know, eventually everything will be alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know when the Grenfell Tower happened, yep. people for a while was mourning, and after a while they were like, you know, everything will be alright. Mm. Yeah. But the scripture says. Destruction cometh, they shall they shall seek peace, and there ain't gonna be none, because of Amos chapter f- 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 
5 and 18 or, or 10, right? The day of the day of the Lord it, it isn't just, yeah, that's a time period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, just, it's just the day of the Lord. No, the day of the Lord is, is going to be a, a, a sequence of events the, the, of him bringing his judgment upon that's the right. earth, man. And the scripture speaks about in Ecclesiastes 39, which if you, if you want to hold that, that the, the, um, the Lord creates spirits of vengeance, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and if you go into that scripture, it gives you all the, 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 the aspects of ways that the Heavenly Father can, can bring judgment. Like, do you remember that, that program, bro? A thousand ways to, to yeah, die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a countless ways to die. Yeah. And, and in this time period that's coming upon the earth, because there's, 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 there's so, much, so many people on the earth, yeah. the Heavenly Father's going to create... Wickedness. And so, so much wickedness that the Heavenly Father's going to create individual ways for their judgment. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Hey, because um, what was it, the Council and Kings? Mm -hmm, yeah. Where uh, you know, so how how are we how are we gonna get take this guy out? The Lord held a council, and different angels were saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that." No, I'm not one. But look, man, you know, I want to be a lion spirit in his, uh, you know, in 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 in, in his. Uh, I forget the king's name. Yeah, I think it was Ahab. Kind, kind of like that, right? It was basically said, you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm a be a, a lion spirit mm -hmm. in his um. Uh, in, in the mouth of his prophets, the word up, yeah. right? So, gets, and then that he got taken up that way. When the Lord, like the brother was going into, the hey, Lord has different individual ways. Like in that program, a thousand ways to die. I remember one woman, she was in a pool doing some Botox, right? But then she did it wrong or something like that, got paralyzed and slid into the yeah, pool yeah, and, and, and drowned that way, <laughs> right? And that's quite comical, man. The Lord has a sense of humor, man. That's right. Right? Uh, right. I remember that still, yeah. yeah. This is uh, Amos 5.18. It says, Woe well, unto you that desire the day of the Lord, right? Your house. It says, To what end is it for you? The day of your house is darkness and not light. Yeah, yeah, man. So, 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 and, and, so when it says the day of, of, of the Lord, what does that mean? Uh, well, a day is what? Just a time period. Mm. You know, a, a quantity of time. So, 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 so this day, it, it's not going to be like a, a 24 hour. Yeah, man. Mm. Ooh, all I've got to do is hide it under yeah, my bed. Yeah. Look, this day of the Lord, it means, it means a time period in which the Heavenly Father is going to bring his destruction upon yeah. the earth. Right? Which would be that time period of Jacob's trouble and martial law up until his son actually returns on that day. Yeah, because you know? uh, what, what is it? Scripture says, the Lord shall send e uh, plagues upon Egypt as before. When all them plagues didn't just come in one day, yeah, right. There was there was there was a period of time that wherein they came. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Good. Well, it says as if a man did flee from a lion and the bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Shall not the day of your how be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Yeah, yeah. So so. For example, basically, you know that ship is saying, there ain't going to be any escape. Mm. You, do you remember that film, uh, Final Destination? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, a guy, a guy might try and sprint, mm. you know, he might try and jump underneath a table or whatever, and he ends up on a, a roller coaster. Yeah. And it flops, you know. That's basically what they're saying. That the Heavenly Father is going to create a way whereby you can't escape your judgment. Mm. It's like every step you 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 you, you take in that time. If 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 if, if you ain't of the left, it's 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 to your, to your end, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I think that's that's it on that. So this is um Sirach thirty nine twenty eight. There be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. That's it. Go ahead. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So, 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 there's actual angels who have power over these particular instruments of death, man. Mm. Right, which, which causes his, 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 his war to take place. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpent and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. And, 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 and you remember the scripture says to appease his mm. wrath, man. You know? 
so so all these guys saying God, God's love will explain this. Mm. You know, go ahead. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. Yeah, so the scripture says the angels are gonna be be be, be uh, Revelation seven. Yeah, yeah. The angels are gonna be like prepared, you know, when it's their point in time to 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 bring out destruction, man. You need it. Yeah, this is Revelation seven and verse. I'll start from the top. It says, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the tree, till we have sealed the servants of our God. So, so, this, um, this wind is speaking about is the different types of destructions that the heavenly father is going to bring in this earth the scripture is saying like obviously we have different types of destructions happening throughout the earth but it's saying don't pour its, its complete effect upon this earth until the, the, the heavenly father has sealed his servants man you know yeah that's what i was just saying okay yeah as you say that yeah yeah is, uh, back in Surah 39 and uh, oh, 31 31 says they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time is come they shall not transgress his word so basically they, hey, if the Lord says they go and you know do uh, something then them angels go and do it man yeah right uh, in fact let me uh, let me grab that the scripture says um, basically None of his angels trying to guess his word. Oh yeah, I would. Um, I think it's uh, eighteen or wisdom eighteen. Yeah, it's, it's uh, all obey or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wisdom three. Is it wisdom three? No, it's wisdom eight. It's wisdom something. Um, yeah, 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 obey. It's something eighteen. Oh, it's a rock eighteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It says Sirach eighteen and three. Who governeth? the world of the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. Can you start from one? This is Surah 18 from the top. It says, He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. Yep. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but he. Mm -hmm. He governeth the world of the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. Yeah, exactly. So, so all things are subject to his will. Even, 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 even you know, you know, guys speak about Satan. You know, he, he, even him, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for he is the king of all, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. Mm -hmm. uh, to whom hath he given power to declare his works, and who shall find out his noble acts? Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. I'm getting there, yeah. Was verse three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it? What was it? I was about to grab something, wasn't I? Um, yeah, me, let me. Are you finished in Sirach? 39. 39. Yeah, um, it says, Therefore, from the beginning, I was I was resolved and thought upon these things and have left them in writing. All the works of the Lord are good, and He will give every needful thing in due season. Well, so, everything is good. I remember uh, we just call it hey, once or someone's being like, Oh, the uh, snakes are evil. There's nothing evil about a snake. Yeah, not neat, or, 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 or like a cat that's black. Yeah. Yeah, you, you evil cat. It's a cat, man. The Lord made cats. He made them all good. Well, for instance, no, certain snakes are, are used for um, controlling mice populations. Yeah, on farms. Right? And stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, so the Lord has made everything with a purpose, man. That's why it said at the top there, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents. Right? So if a snake be <laughs> choking out, because, you know, you, you get you get the people who have the pet snakes. And the snake will, you know, the anecdotally will be measuring itself up against its owner. And one day it strangles its owner or something like that. That was the Lord, man. Yeah, yeah. And the Lord did that. It's comical. You bought a snake and it killed you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It says, uh, so it says, all the works of the Lord are good. And he will give every... Yeah, yeah. For example, like, you know the point you made on the teeth of wild beasts? Yeah? Mm. There was one time that there was a, a woman, like, in a house. And a, a house was on fire. 
and she had a, a dog, mm. I believe, or a cat. And I believe it was a dog trying to wake her up when the fire was going on. But she showed us such a deep sleep that the smoke wasn't waking up all her dog. Mm. So you know what did the Lord put the spirit on the dog, dog to do? Mm. The dog was ripping her face and ripped out her eyes. Ooh. And and until she woke up. So she basically had barely had a face left. Damn. Yeah. Damn, hey, the Lord put and a deep lived. sleep upon her. And she lived. Yeah. And, and you see in the story uh, how woman saved by dog's life is ripped face. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, the Lord's terrible because the Lord put a deep sleep on her, man. Yeah. Lord put a heavy sleep on her such that she couldn't, you know, she couldn't hear the barking or feel the heat or any of that, man. Yeah. Right, so, so that a man cannot say, this is worse than that, for in time they shall all be well approved. And therefore praise ye the Lord with the whole heart and mouth, and bless the name of the Lord. Damn. <laughs> hey man, Lord made even worse by allowing her to survive, man. Yeah. Yeah. Little smile. <laughs> no, that's the Damn. Yeah. Hey, that's why you should hey, fear the Lord, man. Look, man, let's <laughs> get it out of the camera, man. I've got a little bit of this bitch. Some funny shit, man. Yeah, you're probably gonna fuck her up, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm not sure you probably can see her. But, yeah, but basically, just type in. Woman's dog eats half face. <laughs> Uh, man, hey, the scriptures say hey, when you when your calamity comes, if I could get that. This is Proverbs one from uh, what do you call it? Twenty. Twenty seven. Yeah, I'll read it. Twenty four says because I've called and you refused, I've stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have said that not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Right, so the Lord saying, look, man, I've I've, I've tried to give you warning. Yeah. Right? And that's and that's why certain videos go viral, man. That's yeah. why certain things will happen. Right? So now conservative America has no excuse. They've heard about the Hebrew Israelites, man. Yeah. Right? You know, from the whole MAGA hat situation, you know, down in Washington D C. Well so Lord is his but look man, hey, hey, I barked. Yeah. <laughs> I was barking, man, you didn't want to hear. Right? It says that it's the Lord is justified. It says, Look, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, man. Right? When you when your fear cometh as a desolation. Yeah, as you so 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 when your fear is just like it's, 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 it's like basically you know when people get fucking shoved on the water. Mm. Like they're just surrounded by the water. Yeah. Like you know when you know when someone's in the sea trying to is drowning, they're just surrounded by water, they ain't going nowhere, nothing's yeah. happening. That's that's basically the, the how it's gonna be with that fear fear and desolation. Mm. You, you you're gonna to be totally engulfed around it, bro. Yep. You know, but uh, that's right. And it says, uh, I also will love you, calamity. I'll mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, as your destru- and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Uh, anguish is that like, deep, sincere pain. Mm. Like, you know that, <laughs> you know that, that mm. deep, it's not going away, bro. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Yeah, that's the, the when people uh, get caught up in destruction, that's when people get spiritual, man. Mm. Like, even when they're for towel, yeah, these hood, these, these hood jakes are all, all up mm. in the church, you know. Yeah. You know, buying water and shit, you know. Mm. That's when people get paid for, man. Mm. Right? Yeah. So then shall then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They but, but in terms of this time that's going on, this time is gonna outdo every time that has ever yeah. happened upon the earth. Bro. You can lose. Yeah, that's right. You, you you guys are gonna lose everything, mate. <laughs> yeah, this is um Daniel chapter twelve in uh one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince who standeth for the children of 
of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that same time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in a book. Now the scripture is saying the time of trouble that's going to come upon this earth is going to be so heavy, and angels of 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 of, of the Lord, right, has to basically fight for the people of the Most mm. High, right. Mm. The scripture says the time of trouble that hasn't ever been. Yeah. And really, there's been there's been some some harsh times upon the earth. Yeah. World War One was called the 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 the, 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 the war to end the wars. Yeah. Right. And a lot of people died from that. Yeah. You know, the, the Black Plague. Yeah. Right? You had a lot of people who died from that. Yeah. Hey, well, and, and re, hey, you said, um, you mentioned World War One. Isn't the estimates basically around a million dead in World War One or something no, like those, that? Those were way more than that. Right, right, right. No, did you say a million? Yeah, you said it. It's here. Yeah. Oh, I meant a hundred million. Yeah, that's that's a, 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 million. <laughs> a million died in World War One. A lot. million died in Iraq. Yeah, so it's a lot. I meant to say it, it was like they say something. I think around a hundred million at most. Yeah. I think cause obviously Esau counts funny, in it? But when you look at how many people died, you know you can you can verify it yourself, what our kid. Well, you know you look how many people died in World War One. Well, it sits a hundred million, right? The Lord is going to wipe out. At least double that in one hour, when he destroys America, right? Because what population of America is three fifty. Both of are when he was, uh, you know, was doing his calculation, was saying basically, uh, you know, like three hundred, um, what do you call it, million people might might die on that land, man. Because well, don't forget, the wicked of Israel ain't gonna make it. Right. Right. So that's why it's a time like never before. The world has never seen death like that. Well, but one now for the Lord's gonna bring it upon this earth, man. Right? Wow. I was just um checking out some like some 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 points in history. So the great famine of thirteen fifteen to thirteen seventeen, yeah, it basically happened in Europe, yeah. The total amount of deaths was seven point five million people. In Europe, mm. so, so that's like the, 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 that's a great, great time of trouble, man. Yeah, you know, oh shit. <laughs> but then, <laughs> you, 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 you know, but well, anyway, yeah. got up. It says uh, Luke twenty one twenty five says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, mm. the sea and waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall shake. Right? So, hey, you people going to be scared, man. Mm -hmm. They're going to be real scared. You read what the other side of me, let me grab that and just quote it. It says, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 6. And that one. It says, uh, as ye know, ask, ask ye now. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Right? So this is talking about, look man, people are going to be scared. Cause people, men are going to be looking like they've, uh, what do you call it, you know, like they're giving birth, you know, that, that, that face of pangs. But that's what men are going to be uh, 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 looking at, man. But that's why we, when we read in Luke, as we just read, well, that's why, you know, it says men's hearts are going to fail them. What does it mean for your heart to fail, man? Right? Yeah, and also, you know, when you have a chick that's, that's pregnant, mm -hmm. she, 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 she can't escape that pain. Yep. There's no way she can escape the pain. Yep. The only way can she escape the pain is basically after it's done. Yeah. And really, the only way that you guys going to escape that pain is after you die. Yeah, that's right. Same shall know after death by pain. Yeah, and that applies on, on, on to the Israelites. Because mm -hmm. guess what? Uh, you, uh, you humans, uh, after death, are going to get, get more death. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. This is verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. This is the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Well, because he ate. He still wants his blessing back. He still wants his blessing back, so he's going. Uh, which he's going to be. He's, he's doing stuff to take you, Jake's out, man. 
Uh, punching your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's doing stuff to take you jakes out, but hey, you, you jakes are just asleep, man. Yeah. You no, know, because the Lord ultimately doesn't want you. I got a precept. Yeah. This is um second Ezra fifteen and and four. And four. It says for all the unfaithful shall die in unfaithfulness. And this earth is full of a very good portion of unfaithful people, man. Yeah. Hey, that, that's what's one of them things that uni system does, man. Yeah. Well, it makes you, you uh, that's one of the, the, the main pushes. And here in the UK, there was a big uh, uh, push, right, to get, you know, uh, 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 you know, quote, minorities, basically, Jake, into, into university, man. And you see, hey, I, I'm sure I'll, I'll speak for myself. I've seen what's happened to Jay after they've come out of that uni system, man. All gay. Yeah, gay. <laughs> and bug the fuck out, man. Because yeah. they go around these devils. Simps. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go around, all, you know, these devils, these other simps. All of, you know, all of this nasty. It's just it's a cesspool of nastiness. Right, and then that's, that's why the Lord separated these nations. That's why the Lord said... Don't be around these heathens, man. Well, no, because what happens? Jake just learn to wear the heathens and they perfect to wear the heathens, man. Mm -hmm. Right? It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yep. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and, her, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Mm. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they do wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Let's read the next. I'll read that again, Mabu Shah. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right, because he was he so. What's Esau doing, man? Right? Esau, hey, you got certain bowers that have, you know, died in the truth or whatever. Well, but the, 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 the bowers that have died or whatever, they're, they're complaining to the Lord, man. Right? They're complaining to the Lord, man. When you going, when you going to go back down and, and, and sort this out, man? Right? Because ultimately, hey, we know what is to come. And, hey, that's why, for instance, the whole Joy of Walker thing. You know, they're all like, oh, pray for Joy Walker. Joy, uh, Joy Morgan. Joy, sorry, Joy, Joy, Joy Morgan, right? Uh, and then basically, they, they, they're saying all that, right? But not not understand, she's in a better place than you. Yeah. Right? She's praying like, look, Lord, when you, when you, when you go and take these jakes out their misery, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because these jakes are true, man. And these jakes are finished, man. You know, the, 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 the scripture says, destroy the flesh of the soul and be saved, man. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen to a lot of these jakes. That's right. But in general, they, man, this whole earth is going to get plagued, man. It says, I, I, and therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. So, right, so so, so, so the Lord's going to avenge us, man. Right? So, 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 so that should give you comfort that all these people who talk smack against you, man, shit. They're, they're going to get finally plagued, man. Yeah. Right, and uh, says the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Get um, second edges, I believe 16 and 49 or 15 and 49, it's one of them. And it says, Behold, my people is, 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 is that is a flock to the slaughter, I will not suffer them to, to now dwell in the land of Egypt, which is America. But I will bring them with a, a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And I'll and will destroy all the land thereof. And, and this Egypt that's gonna be destroyed completely is the United States of America. That's right. And and that's a part of, of the destruction he's bringing upon the earth to destroy the, the whole land for the three hundred and fifty billion people. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with a plague and punishment. That the Most High shall bring upon it, and what's that plague? It says it in, in in Zechariah 14, right? That same plague that's going to consume your flesh while you stand upon the feet and consume your eyes. It's the same same plague that's going to consume the foundation of the earth, right? Because you know you know you know like 
people can't say that that that, that page is like a, a disease because they're gonna consume the flesh and they're gonna consume the land, right? They it says um, they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fill through the blast in hell and the fearful kind of consolation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the, their destruction mm. draweth nigh. And the worst thing is, they don't even know it, man. They don't. They don't. They, these, guys, these guys don't know. These guys do not know. These guys have 20, 25, 50, 60 year time. Yeah. And it's just one of them ones where you tell them. And, and, and what's our reward? Nah, he's fucking crazy boss. Nah, he's niggas again. Alright, cool. Like, nah, these guys are making black people look bad. That's what this is. Yeah, black people. I ain't black, bro. Yeah, you exactly. that. You're telling them these things. You're telling them about the glory, right? You're telling about that, that you know that's to come to the children of Israel, right? But they 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 prefer to be a black, right? Or for these heathens, they prefer to carry on doing their heathen stuff, right? But they just sleep walking into their own death, man, mm -hmm. right? So like you know you, you might, might have animals going to slaughter they don't know they're going to slaughter right you might have the sheep dog you know woofing running miles behind the, the the van right whilst they're on the way to the abattoir or whatever right but they still go and get killed man in it right so second this is fifteen forty nine I'll send players no, upon oh sorry you know what I'm it's um like as is 15 and 14 and, and, and woe to the world and them that dwell in dwell therein for their sword and their destruction draw of nine and one people shall stand to fight against another and swords in their hand right and that's talking about the, the, the martial law and, and, and really the race wars man right now the time is going to be coming where People, pre pre people, so called blacks and so called whites and, and whoever, are gonna come together in in, in as a group and fight against each other, which 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 we saw a small example of that when the riots happened over here in in London. Mm. Even though I personally wasn't involved in anything, I actually saw it happen before my eyes. Black blacks be whites, whites be blacks, the Asians against whoever, you know, and that's that's coming, right? Mm. Right? And it says, um, for there shall be sedition amongst men, invading one another. And I believe if you go into that word, sedition, it, it just basically means they have no regard for like, the, the, the authorities. And that's what's going to happen. Like, you think people in that time are going to care about this is some, some, of, uh, some authorities, but mm -hmm. they going to give a fuck. That's what, that's what you saw in the purge, man. Yeah, yeah. Right? It says, um, one another and invading one another and they <laughs> and they sh 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 shall not regard their kings nor princes and of course their actions shall stand in their own power so that's the purge mm -hmm. that's what happened in the purge so that purge like atmosphere is coming upon the earth because in the purge people do doing, doing what they want I think it was the purge before the one that came out right do you remember you remember when you had that um that I believe ethical right or whatever he, 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 he finally got um got his hands on his is 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 that like girl that he thought was nice and he was holding her down like <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, and she was all scared yep you know and that's that's what's gonna happen the course of action are gonna stand in, stand in their own power so that time that time's gonna come right oh right where you know, these guys in prison go are going to be out there loose, yeah. right? Where Whereby things are going to just get completely out of hand and people yeah. are going to not fear a fucking a police van. Because yeah. the yeah. guy in the police van, he's going to turn away his own van, man. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and the balance of, of certain things, the balance of power, things don't correct themselves, man. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, like that. You gave that example. <laughs> right, you women go and find out that feminism was a lie, man. You got lied to, man. Yeah. It says, um, a man shall desire to go into a city in Shanghai shall, shall not be able. Like, for example, so 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 if you're in in London and you want to go 
outside outside to a certain kind of town or whatever. Right? It, it's not gonna be be, be possible. Well, quick question to ask is, what's gonna gonna actually restrict the the influx and the movement of people? Mm. The troops, mm. the, 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 the the police. Yeah. You know, that's that's gonna restrict inf- the influx and movement of people. Hey, and people just want <laughs> will be scared to leave, man. Yeah. People will be scared to be roaming these streets in that day. Right, because what? Hey, 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 see, there's a large stretch of land. Yeah. Right, you gonna have bandits, man. You got bandits on the way. They are gonna be you just lying in wait. Yeah. You know, you hey, hey, women, oh, hey, look, 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 there's police everywhere. Women are at this in this day and age already scared to walk on the streets on their own. Yeah. Right. So imagine in that day when they ain't got a phone call to the cops, when they ain't got no pepper spray. Yeah. Right. And when there's no recourse for these these wild niggas' actions, man. Yeah. Well, say let's, uh, let's be real. A load more bitches will be getting fucked up if there weren't no cops around. Well, that's the reality. And it says, shall not shall not be able, for because of their pride, their city shall be troubled, their houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Mm. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of a lack of bread and yeah. for great tribulation. Yeah, and that, and that links up also what we read in Sirach 12 and 8. Friend cannot be known in prosperity, man. Mm-hmm. Right? If it's what you, you might have neighbors and they'll be all talking to you, like, hey, but really they're envious. What, 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 what do you think? You know, you'll see couples going on double dates. They, you know, that ain't was friendly about that. That's just a massive competition, man. Yeah. Right, and that's how these people are on their day to day. They're competing with one one another. You know, was it was it keeping up with the Joneses? Oh, I've got this. Oh, I've got that. Well, well, then in that day, it's going to go into what's going to be the the, the the thing that people are going to be wanting that bread, man. Right? right? You go look, man. Hey, you got it, homie. Man. You know, you got the, you got the bread. Uh, uh, and note the scripture says, and I shall have no pity. Mm. No, like people are going to be doing. Whatever they can in their power. Like, like, <laughs> I, I, I believe they say, like, you know, anytime you're, you're, you're in a family, like, you can smell food f- mm. from a mile away. The, 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 the reason why that's true, you might be doing a fast or something, running there's a bakery store across the road, and you can smell it, and that's one day. Yeah. And normally you might you might walk past this bakery store every day, but you never smell it apart from when you're doing a fast, man. Yeah. Right. And that's just that's just one day. One day. <laughs> you know. So imagine when it's three, four, five. You know, you start being able to smell everything. You can you can break. You can do a, a chemical a breakdown of the thing, man. Yeah, yeah. In there, in there, you got some black pepper in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna be saying all of that. Good up. Yeah, it's the second verse, fifteen forty nine. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty. Yeah, because a lot of men gone die, man. Yeah. It says poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. And the glory of thy power shall be dried up as a flower. The heat shall arise that is sent over thee. Thou shalt be weakened as a poor woman with stripes, and as one chastised with wounds. So that the mighty and lovers shall not be able to receive thee. All right. So basically, the scripture is saying, um, also t- typing the 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 the, the sons shall die in the wars. It says okay, that sixteen. Oh, it's the other three seven. No, the 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 the, the, the it's an Ezra. Oh, okay. If you're not in war, wars. Typing wars. It's not. If it's not got war one, um, some perish by any chance. No, it says wars. It actually says wars. Ezra's. Ezra's done. In the wars, shall they burn yeah, and that, destroy? That, yeah, 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 that one. Start from that. Like, yeah, yeah, got, uh, got, 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 yeah, <laughs> scroll up, this is, this is, this has a lot of it, uh, start from, 
year from t from twenty two. It's the second of sixteen twenty two. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And which, 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 that to me gives me understanding that the time of trouble it ain't gonna be a process of about uh, of, of about you know half an hour. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, the scripture says, for there shall be many of them that dwell on the earth that shall perish of famine. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to die of famine, you have to go about food for like three months, mm -hmm. you know, or so. You know, I take time to perish from food, man. Because these people are fat, so so fat, that's gonna, these guys are going to be in, in ketosis for a bit. Then after, they're going to switch into that starvation, man. Right? Yep. Said, and the dead shall be cast out as dumb. So the scripture is saying there's going to be so much, so much hell and death here that you're going to have actually people on the streets like shit. Mm. And what does that mean? Basically, you know how you walk past a, mm. a piece of shit on a sidewalk and it's, it's not being be, being buried mm. or nothing. That's how these people are going to be. These people are just going to just be on. Uh, you, you might walk past a chicken shop. The guy is just curled up in the corner, and yeah. he's, he's starting to blow. Yeah, yeah. and then and you get another guy coming up from behind, just dragging him yeah. down the yeah. alleyway. Yeah, alleyway to go and cook him. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, it says, um, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The fruit, the trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? Yeah. Sir. The grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? Yeah. For all places shall be desolate of men. Yeah. Right. So all places. Yeah. That's just get just woe wo to the world, and then that door there. Yeah. Right? I mean, them village guys, them uh, uh, you know, guys might live on estates or whatever, right? So, so that no, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. Yeah, it's gonna be it's a. Uh, 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 like in the road, mm. do, 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 do you remember that in the road? Yeah. We're like, you know, it got so, so, so bad. It, they just thought it was just them, mm. you know. But which I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, the um, the 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 the, 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 the kid in, in uh, that film had not ever come across any kids as himself. Mm. You know, but that just shows how many people were dead. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It says so that one man should desire to see another and to hear his voice. For of a city there shall be ten left, and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rock. Yeah, because because people are gonna be afraid, man. Yeah. People are gonna be afraid. People are gonna be like, look, man. You gonna have people gonna have their their, their, their underground uh, bunkers and stuff. Which is actually is, is popular over here in 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 in, in England, man. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these homes and like you know high end kind of areas have have uh, underground kind of old bunkers, oh, man. Right. It's actually a bigger business over here. But, uh, yep. Says so, um, as in an orchard of olives upon every tree there are left three or four olives. Or when the vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Even so, in those days there shall be left three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. Yeah, it, basically like, you know in the purge, man? Remember mm. the purge? You had a guy going through, you know, trying to, trying to find people. But, or, or, or even, like in the, in the, 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 the road. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and even also that you remember that film that came out on on uh, on Netflix with the the, the, the apparition. Uh, it can't. Uh, oh, bird box. The, the bird box. Yeah, yeah. You had them going in the shops and trying to find food, and that's how it's gonna be. Yep. It says the and the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and their ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel. Uh, there through you saw that in uh, 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 the, the, the other film with uh, Will, Legend. Will Smith, yeah. yeah. You know, the virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms, 
The women shall mourn having no husbands. Yeah, that's why. Right. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Mm -hmm. And it says wars because World, World War Three is a combination of wars. Mm -hmm. Really. Is because you're gonna have something you have something called different theaters of wars. It's, yeah. it's small individual wars that creates a big war. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the war shall their bridegroom be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. And 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 that's ultimately what it comes to. Hear, 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 hear the words of the Lord, because this is what's coming upon the earth. Go out. Yeah. It says, um, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great of her birth, great pains can pass her wombs, which pain with her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the, the plague be flat to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Yeah, so 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 to just wait a chick who 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 who's pregnant is in pain while she's giving birth, right? She can't escape that pain. Mm. You guys are not gonna be able to escape the the death and destruction that's that's gonna come upon this earth. They're the only one ones who will be able to escape. Are the are the ones spoken on in, in Second Ezra chapter chapter nine and twelve, mm -hmm. which after if if you got any, have you got any more on that? If not, you go to Second Ezra chapter nine and twelve, and let's see those those if you were going to escape. This is uh, Second Ezra nine and twelve says the same must know after death by pain, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Then answer thou and said, I've said before. Yo, can you start from, from 8? Yeah. So verse 8 says, uh, and verse 7 says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his yeah, works. Yeah, and shall be able to escape. Mm. Go ahead. And by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils. From the said, <laughs> from the said, said perils, man. Mm. Right. And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. That's right. So, 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 so the only ones who are going to be able to escape are those that I shall be able to escape by their works and by faith, which not always earth has. Right. I got one. This is um, Luke twenty-one and thirty-six. Watch ye therefore and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before you, the Son of Man. That's why it's important to watch the the, the, the news and read the scriptures and study, mm. and to basically pray to pray the Lord, you know, takes care of you and and, and preserves you in the times uh, to come. Yeah. You know, do we need any more precepts? Uh, any last ending precepts? Uh, no. Alright, man, but really, um, uh, I'm gonna end with, uh, get Revelation 12 and 12 books, yeah. Oh, I'll take that one. I want to stop. So, uh, I'm gonna end with that one. Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Yeah, the scripture says, woe, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, man. Right? Because Esau, the Esau keep, keep calling themselves white. Their troops, they're, they're, those, they're, you know, they're basically going to show you through their horns, man. Mm -hmm. And the, the way in which they're going to show you them horns is by putting people in martial law camps, forcing people to take the chip, starving you out. Killing you with drones, that's what's gonna come to the earth, man. Mm. Right, but the only ones who are gonna be able to escape is the elect, man. That's right. Right? So, you know, that must say, all praise be. Yeah, how about by Shimon the Shah, by Shimon the Kodash. Rebel on his posses and elders, a great moonstone. So, that we're gonna say, Shalom. Mm.